Ovarian cancer remains one of the leading cancers that kill women. The American Cancer Society says one in 87 women are at risk of the disease. Yet there's still a lot of unknowns on what causes it. In this week's Health Link, King 5's Christine Pay tells us about the cancer's link to a common condition among women. Ever heard of endometriosis? It is a common disease among women that can lead to cramps, abdominal swelling, even infertility. Researchers at Fred Hutch want to know if endometriosis can lead to a certain type of ovarian cancer. Endometriosis is what I would call a chronic gynecological condition. Dr. Holly Harris is an epidemiologist focusing on breast and ovarian cancer at Fred Hutch Cancer Center. She says about 10% of women of reproductive age experience endometriosis. It's basically when tissue that's similar to tissue that lines the uterus grows outside of it in places it shouldn't. Studies have suggested endometriosis may put women at risk for ovarian cancer and Harris wants to know more. It's a low absolute risk. So most people with endometriosis are not going to go on to get ovarian cancer, but we know very little about how to identify who will have ovarian cancer. So it's really an opportunity to hone in on a group of population that's at a bit higher risk. Her research, boosted by new funding, will explore any links between the two diseases. We're going to specifically look, though, about whether people with endometriosis have different risk factors, so we're just going to compare people with endometriosis to people without. She explains endometriosis might be linked to what's known as a more rare clear cell ovarian cancer. There's also potentially the idea that you know endometriosis is considered a pretty inflammatory condition that maybe it's the environment that's created by endometriosis that then lends cells to more likely transform to cancer. There could be an answer in there. Molly O'Connor is CEO of the Rivkin Center, which through its partnership with the Andy Hill Cancer Research Endowment Fund is investing one million in funding for ovarian cancer research in Washington. Ovarian cancer needs the same megaphone that breast cancer had at one point when we knew so little about breast cancer and how to identify it, how to treat it, how to help um, women survive it. Harris's work wants to turn that around. Ovarian cancer is a highly fatal cancer that really needs a lot more work done to, you know, figure out how we can reduce that burden. Dr. Elizabeth Swisher of UW Medicine is also a recipient of the Rivkin Center grant. She is researching ovarian cancer risk and focusing on genetic testing. For HealthLink, I'm Christine Pei.